look at this cute Valentine's filter, even though it's always here. Um, but today, I guess it's appropriate, right? Even though it's really not Valentine's yet, but it's Valentine's Day weekend. <laughs> Guys, never forget, never forget this, okay? Being a leader, being in a position of power, um, all it really means is that people are counting on you for results, right? Happy Valentine's weekend to all of you. All it really means is that people are counting on you for results. People are, are counting on you to get things done. People are counting on you to be their voice. But the reason why they want you to be their voice is because they want to see um, they want to see you do what they can't do, right? <laughs> I probably shouldn't be giving a political speech right now as these uh, as this Cupid uh, arrows are flying through my face. Uh, but what I want to remind you, though, is that just because someone looks a certain way, just because somebody acts a certain way publicly, especially, uh, doesn't really mean that's how they are. I mean, look at what just what we just encountered over the last two years with with Hunter Biden, you know. And um, and the bottom line is that the only way you could really measure somebody's uh, performance and leadership is with results. It's not uh, by what they look like. It's not by not even necessarily about how much uh, fun they have in life. You know, you could have. Um, you could have someone who looks like an absolute, you know, serious person and everything else and get nothing done, which is what we have in government, which is what we have in Washington on both sides. They get nothing done. Nothing. They get nothing done. They have all kinds of budget. They have all kinds of resource and they, resources and they do nothing. Again, I probably shouldn't be giving you a, uh, a political speech with, uh, with this filter on, right? Um... But never stop, never stop enjoying life. You know, I um, I learned at a very early age from people that I was around that um, through hard work you accomplish what you want. I watched it as a kid, and uh, I watched people around me that were completely foreign to me. But it was so interesting watching them. You know, I watched especially one woman. Obviously, I'm not going to say her name. Um, I watched her go from living in a house where she didn't even have doors, didn't even have doors, okay, to by 22, maybe 23 years old, building herself a house, okay? I, um, my mom was, my mom was friends with her even though she was younger than my mom, but watching her and she you know she didn't go to school she didn't have any I don't think she even finished high school she didn't finish high school um she had a kid unmarried you know at a very young age I think she must have been around 19 when she had her child I cannot tell you how proud that kid is of her today I see it daily on social media the way he talks about her um I don't know why destiny just put me around that woman when I was around seven or eight years old. And, um, and I've been watching her ever since, you know, again, it's, uh, a woman and her sisters, but especially her, um, who grew up having absolutely nothing, 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 absolutely nothing. They barely had a bed. They barely, they didn't, they didn't even have a real house. They had a house made out of, uh, um, metal, like, you know, it was like weird metal and they didn't even have doors, you know, um, they were very pretty girls because they, they were, they were very pretty girls. One of them ended up in Europe, still lives in Europe to this day. And, uh, and the other, uh, one of the other ones, she was just such a hard worker, you know, I don't know why. I mean, I, I I'm kind of understanding why. God put me around those people in a time in my life where it was vital for me to see what hard work would do. Um, my aunts, my family wasn't like that. My family was, you know, they went from college, from high school to college. They got married. They got jobs. Their husbands support them. They married 
one of them married a the vice president of Banamex, <laughs> you know, the second biggest bank in Mexico, or it was the biggest one at, at the time. Uh, another one married the uh, the head cardiologist of uh, of the uh, Centro Medico in Mexico, which is the biggest hospital, the biggest government hospital, and he's the head of cardiology. So they are more of homemakers, even though one owns a school. Um, but this woman was different. This woman taught me that through hard work and persistence, you can accomplish anything. Oh my God, here's Jerry Lee again. This woman never goes away. She stalks every single one of my videos. She's one of Oscar's groupies, and here she is. Um, Jerry Lee, don't you have a life? I feel so bad for you. She stalks, she stalks every single one of my videos. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, never go by what people look like. Never go by how, uh, how, I mean, obviously you have to go by how they handle their lives because the way they handle their lives is how they, they're going to handle anything else that they do. Um, obviously you got to be careful with habits, addictions, um, a lot of that stuff. But in the end, guys, it's about results. That's why I voted for Donald Trump. That's why I got behind Donald Trump since the beginning, since day one, because I don't care how he, I didn't care how he spoke. I didn't care if he was diplomatic or presidential. I cared about the fact that he got things done. I had been watching him for years. I met him in 2007. I drove seven hours to meet him in 2007 because I admired him. I admired the way he looked at life. I admired the way th he got things done. And uh, getting things done is never going to be, it's not always going to be easy. But I'd rather have someone like him that is an actual businessman um, who's a person of action that have some establishment politician who does nothing but looks really good in a suit and sounds really good, you know, and uh, and they say all the right things and they take all the right pictures and they have and they do all the they have all the right photo ops and everything else. But at the end of the day, they do nothing. Um, as you know, a few weeks ago, uh, I had to I had to leave my my dog shelter of a property that was legally mine that is still legally mine. Um, Someday I'll get more into it. It's a it's a legal thing in Mexico, loophole. It's a house that I dedicated to my dogs for the last seven years. Obviously not a house that I ever thought of um, or of occupying because I didn't really have the need and because I'm dedicated to my dogs. Anyway, um, for the last two weeks, I've been building a new shelter, okay? I've requested total $3,200 of help of which I've gotten about half, okay? I'm gonna build, obviously I, I, you know, I provided the land and some other things, right? Because obviously if you don't have land, you can't build anything, right? Uh, but eventually, over, over the next few months, you're gonna see what, I'm gonna, what I do and what I'm able to do. And I'm not asking for $20,000 or $30,000. Some of these people would ask, Anthony was asking for $4,000 to go to DC, what for? What for? Plane tickets are three hundred dollars round trip, if that. I mean, if you're just going for activism, if you're going, if you're gonna go have a great time, then whatever. I mean, you could spend forty thousand dollars if you really want to in three days in D.C., you know. But if you're just really going for what you're saying you're going, which is a protest, three hundred dollars gets you there. You know, a few nights of hotels are probably five hundred dollars. I mean, he could literally go with like twelve hundred, you know. But no, he's asking you for four thousand because he wants to live off of that for. A couple months you know or pay his child support and that's not what politics should be for that's what salaries are for um that's what work is for you know politics is not about living off the people neither is charity and that's where people get it mistaken you know i mean if people when they have an actual foundation a 501c3 or whatever um they pay people or they pay themselves a salary i mean i get it because it's time and dedication it's, and, and at the end of the day it is a job i mean if somebody tells me what i do is not a job it is a job but it's charity as well you know and it's something that that um that sh that you should do um i mean i'm not saying you should do it without getting paid but I mean, there are people out there which, with with uh, with five hundred one c threes guys that pay themselves huge salaries, or with political packs. We used to, you see it with uh, one of these packs. I mean, how much is this woman paying herself? You know, for doing what? 
for making stupid videos and taking stupid pictures and living off the people. That's not what politics should be for. Um, in a few months, you're going to be, you're going to see what I'm able to do with, um, very, and it's not that it's very little resources. It's the fact that it's very, very little resources compared to everything else that you see. You, you gotta be, you gotta be able to utilize every resource to the best that you can as a leader. Um, and, uh, and make the best of it. And if we did that, our countries would be completely different. Our countries would have better roads, better hospitals, better everything, better schools, you know, and, um, and we wouldn't have the problems that we have. And, and I see it a lot, especially in places like Mexico, where we don't have roads, we don't have, you know, uh, public water or, or electricity in certain areas, while our politicians are picking their butts and doing absolutely nothing. In America, it's a whole different thing. You know, you don't have as much poverty, you don't have as much need, uh, but you still have so much uh, wasted resources. You'll see what I'll be able to do with resources. Um, and uh, and I think that's what every leader should do. And you'll, you'll see what I'm capable of. And for these people who think they affected me and my dogs, um, I think... I think because they tried so hard and because you transformed that energy, I mean, if you would have seen how things just kind of f started flowing, you know, after the last, after a few days, they just started flowing. And I don't, I, I have no doubt in my mind that they started flowing because that's how God wanted them to be, you know? And um, over the next few months, over the next few weeks, you're going to see what I'm able to do with resources. I've already started showing you, and that's why they're crapping their pants, especially those who wanted to shut down my shelter. I mean, what do they think? I was going to uh, be homeless with 40 dogs and abandon them in the middle of the street. And, and you know, really, really, did you consider me that dumb? Did you consider me that weak? And, uh, and again, as I tell them always, it always backfires. That's why some of your buddies have already passed away. Um, Jerry Lee, where's Janet? We want to know where Janet is. Anyway, um, but again, don't go by what people say. Don't go by what people look like. Go by results, okay? Go by results. Anybody that is doing what I'm doing with my animal shelter would probably be asking you for ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. I requested thirty-two hundred dollars. People don't do anything with thirty-two hundred dollars, and I'm not ashamed of of uh, I'm not ashamed of struggling to get it. I'm not ashamed of anything because it really shows my character. It shows that I don't give up, and eventually, that's what's going to make me a um, a uh, one of the biggest leaders. You'll see that. You will see that. Uh, why do you think people who are supposed to be the biggest leaders right now don't want me around? You really think if they didn't consider me? Um, I don't want to say dangerous because it's not about being... Well, I, I, it is danger. It is danger to corruption. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, if they didn't consider me dangerous to corruption, do you think they would care about me? They wouldn't care about me. Um, so, anyway, you'll see what I'm able to do. And um, and imagine if, imagine if I've been able to do what I've been able to do with $1,700. My God, even saying it, it's just like, imagine what I would have been able to do if I had... Uh, 10,000 the first day, which is nothing. I mean, what's $10,000? That's what one of these grifters pays herself every week, you know, for doing nothing. Um, and I'm, and, and I know that I'm aware of that, you know, and, um, they keep on getting money. They keep on getting money. They keep on getting money and they do nothing. They do nothing. Absolutely nothing. What do they do? Show me something. Show me something you built. Show me, you know, some, uh, one tiny house that you built for a homeless veteran. Show me something, anything, because they don't know how to work. They really don't. Imagine if I've been able to do all the things I've been able to do with $1,700. $1, imagine, imagine what I would be able to do with more resources. And again, and again, I'm not ashamed because I, I think God is doing things in a certain way. God is working in this way so that you guys are able to see. Because maybe if I got the money, if I got more money or whatever... Um, people wouldn't even realize what it, how, what it really takes. 
Notice he's making me break it down, break it down and show you every single day how I do not give up. I'm persistent. I do not give up. I'm resourceful, which is what every leader should be. And in the end, we, when you see what I'll be able to do um, and, uh, and the amount of money that it took, you're going to be, it, it's going to be shocking to you. It really is. And um, hi, Georgette. <laughs> Here's Georgette throwing punches. They're hypocrites because they shame on illegals. They do the same thing. Oh, exactly. No, you're right. You're right, Georgette. They shame on illegals living off the government, and they do exactly the same, but except they don't live off the government. They live off the people, which is worse. I mean, they're, it's both the people. It's either tax or, or donations, but it's the same thing. Um, and that they're pro you know, I, I could guarantee you some of them are like, oh, you know, women can't even get blah, 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 blah. If they, if they only realize that all of this is... Um, it's, it's a process. It's a, it's a learning process. Not, not for me. I've already been through this a million times as far as building and as far as doing things. Um, but if, if you notice, God is making me show people what I can do. Um, imagine if, because oh, think of this, how many people have huge budgets and they do nothing, you know, and, and I'm not even talking about PACs and whatever else in government, they have huge budgets. What do they do? Nothing. They, they have no idea what to do, you know? Um, so anyway, anyway, I just want to wish you all a very happy beginning of your Valentine's Day weekend. I was having fun with a little filter in the beginning uh, because I wanted to remind you never stop having fun. Obviously, don't be, you know, childish or, or, or corny, but sometimes, um, sometimes having a good time and having fun in life is uh, one of the best uh, things we can do. Don't go by what people look like. Don't go by what, what they show you on the internet or on a billboard or on a website, guys. Follow. Well, you can't because they don't show it to you. But the way it should be, it should be about transparency. It should be about following their everyday lives and uh, and about results and about accomplishments. That's really what it should be like. And again, I thank God that at an early age, he put this 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 one woman in my life. I don't know. I don't really know why, you know, um, she really doesn't didn't have that much in common with my mom, but she was friends. My mom became friends with her. And uh, and I learned through her that through work, um, you can accomplish anything you want. She taught me a lot and she wasn't the best influence in certain ways. And uh, and she was very combative, too. You know, I had two different women that, that I was around that age that were very combative, very combative. One of them was very accomplished. The other one, not so, not at all. But the one that was very accomplished, it was because of her work, you know? Um, she was aggressive, combative, and, uh, and a lot of different things, but she was accomplished. She is. And today, um, I can tell you that her son is so proud of her. You know, she has, a, he, she has a daughter and a son, and I can't tell you how, how he talks about his mom because he knows how much she's worked and uh, how, mu how much she uh, accomplished coming from absolutely nothing. And uh, again, when I was young, six, seven, eight years old, it, it was kind of weird to me to be around those people. And now I know why. Now I know exactly why, put, why God put me right there at that time and uh, where a lot of my uh, where a lot of my uh, a lot of my character comes from you know again my family's totally different than that and uh, and yeah I mean everybody has their their pros and cons but it was it was God's plan it was a bigger plan than I imagined back then anyway uh, judgment Day is only for God. Judgment uh, there. Anyway, hi, yeah, thank you, Georgette. Um, so stay tuned. I'm very proud of what I've, I've accomplished so far, and uh, <laughs> and it's it's been with seventeen hundred dollars. <laughs> Imagine what I I could literally probably build like um, <laughs> a little castle for them with ten thousand or something. But it's just money. Money. <sighs> Money's so weird. You know? I care about health. 
I care about energy. I care about peace with God. Okay? Thank you, guys. Love you all. Good night. Bye-bye.